While a ceasefire is in place in northern Yemen, few people in the al Masra camps are heading back to their homes. The most recent conflict, which started in August last year, was the sixth in as many years, and camp residents seem unconvinced that a permanent peace has arrived. Some 30,000 people live in the three dusty camps at al Masraq. Many others live in informal settlements just outside the camps. Life here is harsh and limited, yet most families aren't moving back. Of major concern is the lack of work. Since many families had to sell their livestock or leave it behind, they no longer have a means to support their families, and there's little or no work available in the camps. Yet the displaced feel the camps are a safer place to stay, even though aid is minimal. One positive aspect of the camps is the skills courses for women. Here they learn how to sew and bead clothing or can take literacy classes. Few, if any, women had access to this sort of training in their hometowns or villages. Even families living in the informal camps outside El Masrak are reluctant to return. Conditions are more brutal here, with a total lack of sanitation, security, or shelter. Yet for those who've lost their homes and want to keep the remaining livestock, there's little choice but to stay on. <laughs> It's doubtful those uprooted will return until convinced the violence is finished and normal life has returned. Until then, tens of thousands of Yemenis will remain in this vast wasteland, waiting for peace to arrive. <laughs>